Well, we begin with a major development in the Chad and Lori Daybell case. Today, an Idaho judge served the couple's case, meaning the two will now be tried separately in the deaths of Lori's two children. New special Shara Park joined us from the newsroom now with new audio from these proceedings today. Shara? Yeah, Mike and Ashley, Judge Stephen Boy separated the two cases today after new DNA evidence was presented to the court, which we've learned was a hair that was found at the crime scene. Now, this case is closed for media recording, but the audio from today's hearing was just released to East Idaho News. And in it, we have learned that because the DNA results on this strand of hair were given to the defense so close to the April 3rd trial date, and the attorneys for Chad and Lori want additional testing, Judge Boyce felt his only option was to sever the cases, to separate them, because Lori has already refused to waive her right to a speedy trial. We're now on the eve of trial, and there is new evidence. And having been advised of what this evidence is, um, we know something about what it is, and we know uh, we don't know a lot about what it may be. And that was the voice there from jo uh, Judge Boyce. So now Chad's attorneys will have a chance for further testing. However, Lori's trial moves forward. Chad's trial will be rescheduled for a later date. According to the judge, it could be six months from now. As for Lori's trial, that is scheduled to begin on April 3rd. Chad and Lori are charged with multiple counts of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder in the deaths of 7-year-old J.J. Vallow, 16-year-old Tylee Ryan, and 49-year-old Tammy Daybell, Chad's previous wife. The couple has pleaded not guilty on all charges. Mike. All right, Chair Park Live.